Hey cuties, I'm Lenikia and you're watching What Happened on the Soaps. This is Days of Our Lives edition. All right, guys, let's get right into it. On a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give this one an eight. Um, today is Wednesday, August the 24th, 2022. All right, so we see Paulina, Steffi, Steve, and John, and they have made a mistake. <laughs> Paulina is not the person they should have been concerned about in this meeting with Steffi. Had they listened to her, um, they, they would have been at home and been able to, you know, protect her more. I mean, to be quite honest, um, protect their wives more. But anyways, they find out Paulina is the one and she's wanting to meet with Steffi because she wants to push towards Abe's campaign to be governor. Then we see Abe and EJ talk and they just talk about past things. They talk about Lexi and how she was the heart of the Demera. Um, they talk about, you know, his wife, Paulina, and EJ said, you know, he and Polina had words at first, but he admires her and everything. And they talk about Abe possibly running for governor. And he just said, go for it. He thinks he'd be great for the job. And nobody would care more about the people and the and the state than he he would. So he should he should go for it. And so um then he Abe warns him about Ava. He says, Listen, she can be get unstable, so just be careful. So then we see um, Abe, Steffi, and Paulina talk, and Paulina was like, he was like, what we mean with Steffi for? And she said, because I want you to run for mayor. And Abe said, Paulina. And she was like, what? But anyways, he's going to run. That's what, <laughs> at the end of the day, he's going to run, and Steffi's going to be um, manage their campaign. So then we see John and Steve, and they're like, all right, sir, let's go on home because, you know, our wives are, oops, sorry, our wives are going to be very upset with us. Well, while they're doing all that, we see um, that the Orpheus has taken Marlena and Kayla hostage. Now, they didn't give a goal down without a fight. They tried to fight or whatever, but he, and they knocked him out. But unfortunately, he had men outside because he already, he was like, I already knew y'all was going to be feisty. I said, what's the end game here, sir? Like, I said, you know, one thing about days, they don't mind kidnapping nobody on this soap, holding them hostage, kidnapping. They don't mind doing it. But anyway, so then Steve and John make it back and they say, oh my gosh, because they see the glass on the floor, or floor where they, um, where Kayla hit Orpheus over the head. And so they know that their wives has been in a fight. And then they look and Orpheus left a note talking about don't call the police or whatever. So they already know what it is. So then we see Lee and um, Rolf. They are talking. Rolf said, you telling me a man who, that's been in, um, that has not walked in four years, was technically dead, just got a heart transplant, was going to overpower you? And Rolf said, well, I wasn't finna find out. <laughs> he took a man. And he said, he took my keys too. And he said, oh, Lord. So then um, he left, right? And then we see Gabby and Ava and they're talking about EJ and all that. And then somebody is ringing the doorbell and they're like, go get the door. Gabby's like, go get the door. Ava said, oh, Harold will get it. And she said, I used to answer the door, get, uh, Ava. And Gabby said, I used to answer the door, Ava. Ava said, well, you go get the door. But Ava said, because the doorbell kept ringing, she said, fine, I'll get it. I don't know why she did it, but she closed the doors to, um, well, I guess she did it because she don't want people seeing she's meeting with Gabby to the, um, living area and so then when stefan opens the door he doesn't know who ava is he's like uh because but she thinks he's jake and she's like oh my god jake all that stuff i said well how is this gonna play out baby get ava went and fainted i said oh my girl but anyways when she fainted i said stefan call out help or something he didn't and lee was able to come up and get him and so then when Gabby came out, um, Abel was, Ava was still on the floor um, having passed out. And Lee, Lee came and he's, and she said, Lee, what are you doing here? And she was like, oh, my God, Ava. And she was like, Lee, what are you doing here? He said, I came to check on you. And then she said, oh, my God, we need to call 911. He said, well, I stepped out to call 911. Then I thought about it and was like, Ava would want the police involved. I said, Gabby, you going to believe it? Gabby said, yes, I am. Because she believed it. So 
Gabby doesn't see Stefan or anything, and they go all inside, and they wake Ava up, and she said, I know I saw him. I saw Jake, and they like, no, you didn't, ma'am, and she said, yes. She said, Gabby, I saw him. It was Jake. He was at the door, and so EJ come, and she tell EJ she, she saw him and everything, so then um ej i mean ej tells them i'll take care of her and so gabby and lee leave or whatever because they all think she's off her rockers off your rockers and so e she tells ej she says ej i saw him i'm telling you i saw him and he was like no i think you're just stressed everything that's went on and she was like yeah maybe and then she tells him about the other times she saw him she said but the other times she knew that she was you know it was in her head but this time he was flesh and blood he was real and he just said, I checked everywhere and he's not there. I said, well, where, what tunnels are Lee and Roth in? You know, where are they in? But anyways, uh, then Gabby goes lay down and EJ's like, maybe Abe's right. Maybe she is unstable. I said, oh God, Ava, you want to show him a weakness. You can't do that around EJ. So anyways, and then EJ did apologize to Ava for saying, you trying to seduce my son. But anyways, Gabby and um, EJ, I mean, Gabby and Lee talk. And she just is like, oh my gosh, I, I feel for Ava. She said, you know, she's not my favorite person, but I feel for her because I did the same thing. And he was like, you did what? She said, when Stefan died, I could have swore that I felt like his presence or something. She said that like she felt like he was alive and that Rolf had found a way to keep him alive or whatever. And, um, you know, had Rolf told her that he had Stefan's body and all that, she probably would have funded that that down there herself <laughs> you know she probably would have um but anyway so she was like i just i need i i felt like his presence and he was there and he was still alive or whatever and she said and i just wanted it to be true so bad but it's not true he's he's dead and lee's just like oh i said oh gabby get away from lee please but lee don't know when gabby find out you've been keeping stefan from her the love of her life and just because you want to be with her and stuff mama gonna go off <laughs> you gonna have some hell to deal with sir and so then we see rolf talking to stefan because he got him all hooked up and and everything again and he was like Whew. um Lee was right. A man like you're stronger than I strong because you shouldn't have been able to do all that physical activity and everything. But they finna erase the memory. I said, why don't they just make him think he's Jake? I said, nah, but that wouldn't um that wouldn't help Kristen if he thought he was Jake. You know, that wouldn't help Kristen. So I don't know, but they finna make him be in love with Chloe. But anyways, guys, that was um days of our lives today don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel and i will see you next time um on tomorrow's episode of all soaps mm, sorry um what happened to the soaps days of our lives edition thank you for watching goodbye